Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my 2K21 tutorial number 26. Today I'm going to show you guys the best shooting badges you can equip and the best sharp shooting build in the game and demonstrating it for us will be a top 2K21 sharp named Nike Hoodie. So not only are we going to show you those details, what I'm also going to show you is the movement and techniques you need to get open to make shots. I will also show you the best jump shot you can use for a shooting build such as this. I guarantee by the end of this video, you'll have all the tools you need to find shooting success consistently in this game, just like Nike Hoodie does 24-7. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please share and like, and make sure to subscribe for more 2K21 tutorials all season. Also, you can check out my all 2K21 tutorials playlist in the description below to stay up to date and to see more OP shooting and build tutorials. So first things first, you want to use the biggest green pie chart to make this build so it is a pure sharp build standing at 6'6", 180 pounds with maximum wingspan and the attributes will be distributed as such as you can see there once you reach 99. Also for the physicals, you want the 87 speed, 85 acceleration, 47 strength, 69 vertical and those attributes will be there for you once you reach 99. And in terms of the shooting badges, these are the ones you want to equip and set to. Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Hall of Fame Deadeye, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hall of Fame Hot Song Hunter, Range Extender, Slippery Off Ball, All Hall of Fame, and then Silver Difficult Shots and Silver Tireless. Once you have all of that was done, you also want to equip the jump shot with Base 98, Curry, and Bird, 70-30 uh, with the quick release. So 70% Curry, 30% Bird. And you can see the results here are devastating. Once you get to 99, getting dotted by any kind of point guard, you will be able to finish with great shot mechanics with this jump shot and it's not a shot meter shot it's a button shot with no meter all muscle memory and timing very easy to green and you can see nike here also like to attack his defenders help defense recovery route so you can see nike's on the strong side here and his point guard is about to give him a pass because his defender went off the pinch and those are the possible places nike can be three of them in this instance he decides to attack forward and you can see he was able to get away from his defender as his defender tried to recover from the help that he was offering to pinch the point guard. Nike gets the right spot, gets the right shot, excellent shot mechanics, green. You can also see Nike here decks back uh, from the pinch again at the elbow. So once again, strong side. His point guard makes penetration. His defender goes off to help on the pinch and that's when Nike knows he's got to make a move. And this time is a dex pack, so his defender gets wrong, and Nike was able to find another opening. And with his quick jump shot, even a window this small, with the correct shooting badges equipped with the right build, he is very, very effective. You can see in this instance, Nike uses weak side movement and passing lane angle advantage to find himself another open shot. So you can see his point guard is driving to the uh, sideline there. Nike is kind of lined up with him, and he goes to the opposite kind of the elbow break there and he was able to find a good passing lane on the weak side on the decks and find himself another open shot you can see here he also is very good at attacking defensive rotations he understands the defense is about to rotate here so he uses their defensive momentum against them he goes against against the grind opposite direction from the rotation that's happening catches the ball one dribble was able to find a small window again and because of excellent shot mechanics jump shot and badges another green you can see he uh his team knowing that nike is hot now with his badge activated will commit early possession to him with off ball plays so here you can just see nike using the slippery off ball badge to the maximum so that's one dex two dex it's not over yet he's still on the strong side here comes the third dex folks that's that's four dexes coming from weak side on the strong side in early possession with a set off ball play and nike delivers once again you can see overall Nike is just a very rare shop that can also make plays off a catch. So with his shooting ability, that threatening. You can see him in this instance, this is a strong side elbow. This time it's a wrap and not a dex into an off ball screen. Nike gets a separation, understands the help defense is going to gravitate towards him, makes the extra pass to his corner man Pratt and Pratt sticks the shot. So that's Nike also finding assists off his off-ball plays and movement. And that's what a great shot does. With great shooting badges and great jump shot, you're now a huge threat. So you can also make passes mostly to your corner mans to help them get easy baskets. And now the defense won't leave Nike at all because of everything he has done in this game so far. So this means his point guard green light 
is going to be able to get the space he needs because Green Knight knows no help is going to come. There's no pinch. He can just stay on that side and find his shots. All right. So with those shooting badges, this kind of build and that kind of gameplay, you will find huge success. And the rest of this video, I'm just going to show you the entire fourth quarter that Nike took over. And this is pretty much just my scouting report on him because from my point of view as a 2K league analysis, scout, coach, and all that, I feel like Nike is most likely very league ready in a sharp row because of what you just saw there. He can make plays when the point guard come towards him on the strong side as he anticipate his defender is going to help on the point guard's drive on the strong side and Nike knows how to dex away from that to create space. And when he's on the weak side, he also has the skill set to create passing lane for his point guard to make essentially a long skip pass so that he can find shots. His shot mechanics are fantastic, like Nike sticks open shots. In the, this gameplay you're watching here, they're actually facing against uh, Prophecy in a best of three. And this was game one where uh, Prophecy eventually won the series from excellent play by Lee and Wavy and Reese and JC and actually Fox. Prophecy was a great team as you probably know if you're into the program scene that they beat greatness recently. But in this game, Nike's team uh, above the rim ATR did win game one of this series and you can see in this fourth quarter even though Prophecy was leading for majority of it it was Nike's ability to find shots on using movements off ball movements on the weak side and the strong side an excellent point guard play focusing on finding him by his point guard green light uh, ATR was able to pull this off because of you know Nike's contributions obviously the whole team was also doing what they had to do but Nike was making extra and you know big contributions to ensure that this happens and I feel in league play where majority of the best teams right so if you focus on the top playoff teams, so all playoff teams have made it to the second round of the playoff so the final six teams of the season uh, uh, Bucks included, myself included. <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to Reg and the team and Drake and all of them. But uh, it's all the best teams in the 2K League with the best on fans uses a pure sharp, not a dual ball handler. Because when a pure sharp is good and your good point guard is excellent, you don't need kind of to make it up with a dual handler. Because off ball movement like Nike can do here is what makes a pure sharp so good that a point guard can still be heavy usage but still be able to find his teammate like a secondary ball handler or a sharp all these points and it is nike's ability to find shots on the strong side on the weak side and on the move and on the go it's gonna i feel like a lot of league teams can use a talent like this i would consider if there's a tier of Pro-Am Sharps that are out there. I would consider, if S is the highest tier, we go S, A, B, C, D, E, F. I would consider Nike uh, A tier because of that. Obviously, his uh, defense still, his defense is actually pretty solid, but it can be better. But he has all the skill set he needs already to more than enough fulfill his role in the league as a Sharp. Because he's very good at sensing when his defender is going to help on the point guard. And then he will find that open space to get himself a look and a passing lane at the same time. He just doesn't get open, right? He gets open with a solid passing lane for his point guard. And that, a lot of the time, is like really, really helpful in a league setting. So keep an eye out on Nike the rest of the way as uh, ATR is trying to make noise. Look at that pass, that's nasty. As ATR is trying to make noise in the draft tourney tournaments. I have a solid feeling they would do well, but we'll see. They're still an up and coming team with some inbuilt flaws and just, just just the issues that usually come with amateurs. But they are an excellent team. Nike rounds them out nicely. Greenlight is actually also a very good point guard. And he's playing on both consoles, so also keep an eye out for him. I really like this backcourt. I feel like they're an excellent, excellent backcourt in an amateur prospect kind of sense. They might not be the best one out there, but they're, they're definitely top five in the P4 scene. And in a draft tourney where you really have not a lot of league players, I feel like a backcourt like that, it's enough to get them very, very far. Now the rest of if they can win a tourney is gonna come down to how their bigs and how their defenders are gonna go. But uh, Mean is actually an up and coming log and he's also excellent. 
very vocal. Could improve a little bit on the shooting, but his on-ball defense and individual defense is also absolutely excellent. Pratt's been around, he's been a very, very solid center, but now he's moved on to power forward, also demonstrating he can play both position uh, consistently. Cheese is a kind of like a new guy in the scene. He's got uh, more of the aspects to work on as I worked on, talked to him about it, but uh, the success of this team and how far they go, a lot of it was gonna rely on Cheese. So if he can improve and he can play better, this team is gonna be very dangerous. But overall, keep an eye out on Nike and Greenlight. I really enjoy watching them, especially Nike with the way he moves off the ball and allows Greenlight to just be a high usage point guard without ever really sharing the ball in terms of dribbling duties. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and also report on Nike. Uh, as always, thanks for coming by. And as ATR did end up winning this game by uh, 4 or 5, I think. But once again, Thanks for coming, and I'll see all of you again next time.